A luncheon forum titled Brexit Briefing, the possible impact organized by the Shippers Academy Colombo was held in Colombo today. Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Harsha De Silva, newly appointed Governor of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka Dr. Indrajit Kumaraswamy and several other experts joined in a luncheon forum. This government have, have took the decision to strengthen democracy not to get GSP plus or not to get any other trade uh, 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 concession. We did it for the people of this country uh, and, 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 and we are certain that we will get GSP plus uh, in the next, well, I'm saying six to uh, nine months. And we hope uh, that uh, a trade deal with Singapore uh, will be uh, uh, around sooner. We are uh, now uh, beginning the negotiations with, uh, with India on ECTA. I'm happy to note uh, that uh, some of the critics, particularly those representing uh, various professions, have been meeting with the government and we have already promised a slot on the negotiating team for the professionals. And this is as transparent as it can get. So what uh, we are going to do is to transparently negotiate uh, the agreement with India. So whether or not Brexit took place, I think there was a case for diversifying our export markets, our export products. Uh, so that, that continues. The only thing one can say is that ex post Brexit, there is more uncertainty about the European market. So one needs to factor that in, in terms of your future, future plans. Um, I mean, it's very disappointing, if you think about it, that since uh, independence, basically, uh, we've only created a single billion dollar export product. Uh, you know, that, that's, uh, you know, it's not a great record. Um, so I think there are challenges for exporters and for policymakers to create the right environment for exports because we haven't often had that.